seeing if I can set it up. Hey, if it works like this, I can record a reading. Because I set it up in between the little cracks in my chair. I can just sit down here. If the bugs leave me alone. You do a reading out here. I don't do that and then I'll upload a reading. For a change, upload one for a change. Really tap into the energy of my soul track today. All the people that vibe with me. My soul track. Right. Let's get started. Let's get my cards out and deposit. I also brought my book out. So I'll show you guys some of the ideas. I got my deck of cards, my one deck of cards here. Ace of Swords, my on the deck. We like the truth, we like curiosity, but we like new things, no, right? So I wrote down some things in here. This is my 2024. I know my sister got me a nice lighting is bad. Yes. It's soft cover. So I wrote some stuff down here is some things that people are looking for on the internet, like that was suggested to my channel personally by YouTube. I'll get rid of them. Okay, so some of the different ones, what should I do? Uh, so there's all um, spiritual spouse reading, signs of spiritual spouse that your spiritual spouse is around, Akashic record reading, current love reading, spiritual relationship advice, when will I get success in my life, astrology, spiritual life purpose, Spiritual horoscope, how to know if he or she has feelings for you, spiritual healing and prayers, spiritual growth and guidance. That's all the ones that uh, people have uh, are looking for. And then there's some other ones is like universal signs that love is coming in, soulmate, con soulmate, soul contracts, soul contracts spiritual awakening signs spiritual growth sessions angel signs my angel signs are feathers i found like four different ones and i know some of the angels that are connecting with me so which one should we do today yo let's do universal signs that love is coming in let's do that for the collective universal signs that love is coming in whatever i read in the cards that's what that's what it is it's 244 right now so the number 44 could resonate with you, 222 as well, because I saw that yesterday, really just popped up. There's a song that I channeled earlier, but if I remember it, I'll say it. But, uh, all right, let's see. What is universal signs that love is coming in for my soul tribe? For all the people that are learning about their higher selves. How do you know that? So, yeah, what are signs that your that uh, love is coming in when you can escape the thoughts of being betrayed? Like once you can forgive that. See, this popped in reverse. So once you can forgive what happened, that's when love is going to come in. Once you can let go of what happened to you, escaping the ruin, pulling yourself together, learning from your past hardship and fears that came true okay so that's what you're doing you're learning from the fears that came true right so the fears that you had in the past that came true about love you learned from them right so you are now forgiving anything about that and then you can start over again so that's why you're not going to get betrayed anymore so the past you may have been backstabbed you have been betrayed you've had a lot of people bitching at you bad mouthing you but uh, bitterness uh, being treated like a doormat Failure, ruined, collapse, breakdown, exhausted. Um, all these things has happened to you in the past. So hitting the wall, dead end, uh, surviving, ties, ties, good, ties, goodbyes, and nails and the last nail. On the top, like those things are gone. Like, you know, those are things that you have learned from them. And, um, the hardships and the fears that you have and you now know that when you have these fears that's when you call that energy back in so this came upright 
So spirit has like now connected you with your higher self. You are now inspired, you know, and now you can inspire others of what you've gone through, right? And what you've learned from and what you won't accept anymore, right? So there's new, now you, when now that new beginning's coming, that's how you're going to know the signs is that you can let go of the past, okay? So you know that when you're, when you're inspired again, now that your past inspires you, that's when you have, can have new starts. See that? New beginnings. So new beginnings, good news, physical starts, something creative sparks your new, sparks your intuition, finding a new passion, enthusiasm, accepting, and accepting a challenge, potential talent growth, activating, traveling, being excited, getting getting back in the game and you know, of game of dating again, you know, or being with someone, you know, hanging out with people. Five five five. Changes are happening. So new beginnings are starting. So this is thing something inspired you from the past. Maybe you know whatever happened to you in the past. You could have been dealing whatever betrayed you and you know did this to you. You could have been dealing with uh, you know what whatever you inspired by here, right? So you could have been dealing with a fire sign. Also a Gemini here that you know you could be a Gemini or dealing with one, right? Uh, the people that may have inspired you from may have you know like our like the people that hurt us can inspire us once we can forgive that you know because we can learn from it and it can help us make a better decision and you know let new things come in once we learn from it and let it go because once when we can't let it go yet we haven't learned from it yet so in the bottom of the deck two two of cups comes in now so we are inspired now we are a new beginning with a friendship unity and love compatibility happy couple potential soulmate relationship harmony balance equal attraction connection and proposal engagements and marriage proposal even res equal respect right so that's curiosity right so now you're curious about this new start that's coming in so that's coming in for you so there, there may has been a, that may have been a delay and and news you know there may have been news that may have been slowly coming in yeah your patience are needed ideal ideas are inspire inspirational planning visualizing it protecting your ground being firm one who is cal calculating and unconcerned about uh, feelings but they are communicator a sense of um victory and travel so you know there could be also someone in the mix that, you know, could be watching and they could be a little bit materialistic. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Somebody here is showing me that energy. So how we, what are the other signs uh, other than inspiring that inspiration from the past, something that from the past that has inspired us that we went through and now we know we have learned our lesson. And now we can have a new beginning. So what is it that, 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 that is sparking our interest in a new beginning again? And just two of cups coming and calling in the two of cups magician <clears throat> so knowing that you can imply that you can call it in now now that you have healed and you have like let go of the past and you have let go of what hurt you now you know that you're not gonna let that happen again so you are uh, you're 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 inspired to be creating love in your life uh, calling it in so creativity, your creativity is sparking again. You're you're willing to take action and manifesting your your what you want, that love that you want in your life, and you have learned a lot. And you could be working with someone, working together too with someone here as well. So positive, freedom, and fun, success, optimism, the joy, confidence, self-expression, expressing yourself again. You got your ideas that you have, you know. And you're gonna seize the moment here. So you're gonna you're gonna be aware when somebody's trying to trick you now. Now you're gonna be aware when someone's trying to get away with something, okay? Like that's love bombing, you right? Like you know, when someone tries to trick you. So tricky behavior. Dishonesty, cheating, thievery, this deceit. So all that stuff is going to, you're going to know now, right? The lack, when somebody's not giving you their best self, you're going to know that too. 
right? So how do you gonna know that signs of love coming in? So maybe someone's seeing things from a different perspective here. We have the hangman, and then we have uh, the the king of wands, a new uh, being in charge, independent, loyal, optimistic, impulsive. Imp Impulse of unexpected income, someone who is inspired by others to create and achieve. So something could be bringing in money, something that you inspired by, by seeing things from a different perspective. You're learning something from, you know, from being strong, from being, having the inner strength. And this is bringing you peace and happiness and bringing you peace and happiness. And you have gone through a, a, a lot of spiritual transformation and you're working on your pentacles right now for some of you. And that's how you know that uh, love is calming in because you are on the right path. And you'll also know because it's, you're going to know. You're going to know. Okay? So happiness. You're going to have a new start here. Okay? So you're going to have a new start in your happiness because these are all signs that, that uh, love is coming in. How you're going to be happy. Your family is going to be happier. Um, there's going to be reunions, you know. A long-term relationship, stability, security, harmony, abundance, domestic bliss, happy ever after, caring, and children and fun. Like also, there's success and achievement, accomplishments, traveling, com uh, completions, and fulfillments. A sense of belonging, wholesomeness. So you're gonna find that something inspires you to start new here and start fresh. Uh, your enthusiast, you're, you're very structured or someone here in the, in the game is very structured. This person is very domestic. You know, they're, they're very good at running their home, you know, running a domestic, you know, home environment. So this person is very, uh, is, is someone that is, they have a feelings of perspective, keen insight, prepared judgment. They make the right decision. This person could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now is the time to stand up for what you what you want and be clear about what you want and need. Someone who has suffered losses and hardship is an intelligent and witty and analytical woman. So now it's time to stand up for, for what you what you need and want. Right? You have already suffered like addictions, depression, mental illness. Uh, you've overcome your ego, obsessions, cheating, all that stuff. You've overcome a lot of pain. You've become, you know, independent, not codependent. But you're not materialistic. So all these things that you've overcome. And you know, now call in what you, you know, what you want. So that you can call in your success too with love as well. Jupiter energy, this is your year. If you are connecting to a Gemini or anybody with Gemini in their chart, this is the year for 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 expanding and being prosperous and having this recognition and success. This is your year of victory and winning, having the achievements, triumphing. So awards even. So how do you know that signs of love coming in? Sign that romance is is on its way. Your intuition. And you're finding the resources to find balance. And, and you're, you're learning from the ups and downs as well. You're learning from your ups and downs. You're learning from heartbreak. And this is helping you to move to calmer waters. So you're learning from heartbreak and, and moving to calmer waters. This is, uh, so you, have, you realize how strong you really are. How resilient you really are, right? And you have learned a lot from your past. So that's how you're going to know that love is coming in, right? And that somebody's coming to you to talk to you, maybe start something here, but that has been holding back. And, you know, this person may have been, you know, not having a lot. They may have been trying to balance everything out in their life. And they are coming to express themselves creatively, right? They're coming to express themselves with their emotions. Romantic proposal, an offer, an invitation, taking action, following their heart, and attracting, dating, affection, your ideal man or woman able ample intelligent and young could be a younger person full of new ideas and proposals so there is new love coming in or love coming in this person could be younger 
So this is going to be a partnership as well. Reunion. So there's going to be a makeup session here. Third eyes. You know, this is about, you know, you could be meeting each other at a party or engagement, at some kind of gathering. This is the outpouring of love that's coming in towards you. You know, the Ace of Cups. For some of you, this is new love. New beginnings. So there's new beginnings. So this is whatever it is. If it's a past person, it is still a new beginning. <clears throat> but that past person. So new beginnings, new relationships, new romance, new romance and love, happiness and joy, conceptions, even fertility and pregnancy, celebrating and socializing. So that's what you're going to be doing. Yep. So that's how you bring love into the bring calling love in. How can you call love in? Any other ways to call in love? Returning from travel or holidays, restrict feeling taming, losing moment. So you may be feeling a little bit like for some of you, maybe have gone on a trip or whatever. You may be traveling a lot or working a lot, and you may be travel returning home, or maybe returning home from a holiday. You may be just wanting to relax. Uh, there's, a, you know, like, then you, you can choose your path, you know, what is the, the two paths desired options and planning. The grass is always greener on the other side. Emerging, suddenly leaving, deciding to stay or go. Waiting, anticipating. So, so this could be why you're withdrawing because you kind of, trying to figure things out here so you're nurturing yourself you're becoming grounded with your emotions and nurturing yourself and make being able to make a choice about how you feel so a choice based on a sense of feelings and imagination and, and dream and empathy you could be interested or, or be someone that's into uh, the occult you know what I'm doing here uh, interest in deeper feelings of motherhood or a substitute may play a significant role in your near future. For some of you, you could be coming, you know, stepmoms. So that's what uh, you're anticipating here, going, you know, trying to make a decision on. And I feel like uh, this is going to fulfill you, you know, emotional fulfill you, whatever's coming in. Wishes are coming true, realizing your dreams. That's what you're going to do. You're going to do like some nurturing to yourself, realizing what you really want. All right. So when it comes to love, there's lots of ways that you can see that love is coming in and you're going to feel it. All right. So, and when love comes in, just a warning sign that when love comes in, when somebody finally makes the, makes, you know, takes action, there's going to be other ones that are going to do the same. So, um, you know, early bird gets the worm. So if you don't want to miss, it says seizing the moment. So if you don't want to miss your shot, you know, don't, uh, if you, if you get there and you know, and you, you're meant to be there, you're the first one. All the other ones don't matter, right? If you if you want each other, that's what it is. So don't worry about anybody else. So you got to let go of anybody else that is trying to come back in to be able to just manifest that person that you want. All right. God bless everyone. I just saw 1818. All right. So I hope you like this reading that's uploaded. All right. God bless. And it's going to be called Calling in Your Love and How to Call in Your Love. Okay. God bless. <laughs>